Okay, this video is going to walk you through question number four of tonight's sequence homework. The first thing I recommend that you do is take the uh, sequence of values and put them into a table. Understanding that this first number that you see here is the first number in the sequence, so it needs to be the first number in the table. So I'm going to put the numbers in here, negative 4, uh, 12, negative 36, and 108, just to get me started at least. Then I have to look at this table and say, what is it doing? Is it adding or multiplying or something else? If it's adding, that means I would be adding 16 to this. If I add 16 to 12, I do not get negative 36. So it has to be something other than adding. Let's try multiplying. If I were trying to figure out what the multiplier is, remember this. To find the multiplier, you have to take the next divided by the previous. So take next divided by the previous. In this case here, 12 divided by negative 4. 12 divided by negative 4, and your answer is negative 3. If you think that's the multiplier, you need to try another pair of numbers, like negative 36 divided by 12. That does also give you negative 3 as well, and so on and so on. So now that you have the multiplier, you then have to work your way back up the list to get the zero term, or the starting value. So in this case here, if I keep multiplying by 3 down the list, you have to divide by 3 to go up the list. So if I take negative 4 divided by negative 3, I get positive 4 thirds. That is my zero term. That's what helps me write the equation. So now if I have the starting value and what it's doing, I can write the equation. So it's going to be t of n equals, what did I start at? 4 thirds. What am I doing to it? I'm multiplying by 3. If I do that a bunch of times, I want to use an exponent to summarize that. That's my answer to this question. But if it is multiplying, there's a name for that kind of equation. It's geometric. So you're going to have geometric be the name of this sequence. And then the last thing is, on a test or quiz, I hope you would check your answer. So if you type the equation in your calculator, like you see here, and then hit second graph or table, just take a moment to check to make sure that your tables match when you make the equation, and you can get it right every time. Hopefully this video helps, and good luck.